Alright guys, welcome back to another sweet freaking constructive tutorial. And now that we got our dude imported, I think it's time that we actually animated him. So in order to do that, we're going to be working a lot in this animations window right here. Pretty much say, take this image and make it into an animation. So the first thing I want to do is rename this from default. And if you actually just click on it, then a little uh, editor is going to appear. You don't need to press like a pen like last time. Just rename this to idle and then deselect it and it'll um pretty much well just rename it to idle duh and um so now that we have this animation name properly the next thing I want to do is change the speed of the animation so make sure that this is selected and once it is the properties of it will pop up on the left and change the speed from 5 to 9 now of course the speed of your animation is just going to be preference more than anything else but I know that 9 looks pretty good on here and obviously the faster the speed is the faster that these images are gonna play so if you change it slow he's gonna be bobbing up and down slowly like a you know big lard if you uh, change it to like 50 he's gonna be bobbing up and down real quick like a crackhead so 9 perfect make him look normal and right now if you actually want to test how fast it looks if you right click idle and press preview as you can see he bobs up and down once then stops alright so that's obviously not one what we want him to do so what's the issue right here and the issue is if we want this animation to get done then keep going over and over again pretty much once it gets done start from the beginning again change this loop to yes and just go ahead and hit enter and now once we preview this I don't know if you guys can see it, but he continually bobs up and down. Hopefully you guys can see that on the screen recorder. Alright, so our dude is bobbing up and down continually. So that's pretty much what's going to happen when the user isn't pressing anything, when they just like walk away from their keyboard. So right now, what we can do is, since we're kind of done with this animation right now, just close it out. And I actually want to move him so he starts out like right there. Might as well. And I'm also going to rename him from Sprite2 to, to Player. Since this guy is a player. Alright. So our animation is good to go. Let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks. Okay. So we have some issues with the screen, which we're going to fix later. But the dude is bobbing up and down. It looks like he's just sitting on the toolbar on my uh, computer. So, I don't know. That actually looks pretty cool. Leave that right there for now. And the reason is, is because this is your screen size, if you didn't know, this dotted line right here. And we can adjust that later on to give us a little better resolution. But for right now, I want to talk to you guys about behaviors. So what we want to do is we're going to be working a lot with something called platform behaviors. And this is basically the behavior that you add to a lot of these sprites for a platform game. And you guys are going to see exactly what a platform behavior is a little later on. Actually, let me move him up so if I demonstrate anything else. It's going to be easier to see on the screen. But anyways, I want to mention one thing. Check this guy out right now. Whenever he's standing on the platform like this, this entire blue box is the area of the dude. So let me unsnap the grid so I can demonstrate something. So that means what the game is going to do is if he goes like this right here, it's still going to make him stand on the thing since it thinks this entire base right here is his feet. And also, we know that if the dude is standing right here, he should not be on the thing anymore. He should fall down. So we want to keep this crop because, I mean, that's the area of the entire animation. But how do we make it so that... Um, the game reacts to only where his feet are and he would fall down in the situation like this. Well, let me go ahead and snap the grid again because I don't know, it was just bothering me. In, in order to do that, we actually need to import another object that's going to solve that issue. So double click anywhere on your screen for now. And what we want to do is we want to actually just import another sprite and we'll just click it right here for now. And if you actually select, and I'll actually put this on my um, 
on my forum. I'll put a link below this video so you guys can download this image or if you have Photoshop you can just make it. But what I did is I made this little image and it's just any blue square. I made it in Photoshop. It took like two seconds and it has a 75% opacity even though you can just use you know a solid one. So double click that and right now check it out we just have a plain square as a sprite. 